Hi, this is Mary from Homegrown Learners, and I want to speak with you today about math. And I want to talk specifically about Saxon math and why we have chosen, um, after our four-year journey homeschooling, why we have settled on Saxon math. I have a third grader and a seventh grader. My seventh grader will be using Saxon 8-7. And my third grader uh, is a real, he's a math guy, through and through. He loves math. And um, he loves Saxon. He is going to be doing Saxon 5-4. Now, don't let those number combinations um, confuse you. When it says 5-4, that is a program that is meant to be done in one year. It can be for a fourth grader or a fifth grader, depending on their ability. When it says Saxon 8-7, it can be for an 8th grader or a 7th grader, depending on their ability, and it is designed to be done in one year. A lot of my revelations about math came this summer after I attended a practicum at our Classical Conversations community. They endorse and recommend Saxon math, and I just learned a lot of really interesting teaching tips and a lot of good reasons why my children need to be using Saxon. Um, in the upper grades, you need to work backwards. So by that, I mean we needed to decide what my daughter wanted to end up with for her math credit for her senior year. I would like for her to finish with pre-calculus and or trigonometry. So if I work backwards from there, we've got 12th grade with pre-calculus and trigonometry. We have 11th grade with Algebra 2. We have 10th grade with Geometry. 9th grade with Algebra 1. 8th grade with Algebra 1 half. And then 7th grade, which she is this, this year, with Saxon 8-7. Now there's also a possibility of skipping um, Algebra 1 half if they have 80% mastery in Saxon 8-7. So in that respect, we just have to see how the year goes. One of the big things that I like about Saxon is that the book is no frills. It is thorough. It is not easy. In each lesson, you have 30 problems. And I have heard from several sources now that your child needs to do every single problem. Just assigning the evens or the odds is not going to get them that review from the previous lessons that the authors of the book have designed. This is very important. It's also very important to do the mental warm-ups and the facts practice. You need to do the book thoroughly and completely. And out of my daughter's own mouth, she said, Mom, I may not always like it, but I know I am becoming a better mathematician. Now, last year in Saxon 7-6, some of the math was a little bit um, out of my range of teaching. I didn't feel like I could teach it sufficiently to her, so I knew this year that we would need to get some help. I researched the dive CDs, I researched teaching tapes, and I also um, researched the Saxon CD-ROMs that the company Saxon puts out. And in the end, that is what we wound up choosing looks like this and all it is is a series of CD-ROMs that you're going to put in your computer. It has every single lesson taught, it has every single practice problem, every single lesson problem, and every single test problem. You do not actually see an instructor, you hear her talking, but she is writing and so you can see all the numbers and what she is explaining. It's very thorough, very no frills, and this is what I like about it. I think that sometimes math is one of those areas that people get discouraged, and I don't want you to be discouraged. There are so many options out there to help you, so you don't need to give up, and I don't think that you need to outsource math. If you can, if you have a great local math program, that's great. But for us, it seems like these Saxon DVDs are going to work very well. If you have any questions, I encourage you to read the post above, or you can also email me through the contact form on my site. 
like I say, I'm not a mathematician. I'm simply a homeschooling mom with a music degree. And I wanted my children to have the best math education possible. And I think that we're on our way to do that this year. And I'm very excited. Thanks for watching.